Hello all, this is KJ from Iki. If you have seen my video, uh, you know about myself, but to introduce myself again, my name is KJ from Japanese sake trading company called Jacob Aishi, and I'm also operating the, uh, as a director in sake media called Iki, which delivers information about Japanese sake in English. And uh, this video channel is to uh, deliver latest information to you on a weekly basis, and this is the third week in 2021. So, shall we start a uh, weekly news topic of Japanese sake week 3? And from this time I'm wearing the Iki costume, Iki t-shirt and the Iki monkey baseball cap. Uh, this is on sale in the uh, market if you like uh, but anyway, I'm going to be in a costume from this time uh, The first topic is about the uh, online sake festival uh, There is one sake hotel, Sakagura hotel in Nagano which opened in uh, March of 2020 and they were operating a hotel but they also uh, provide services to let uh, uh, tourists be a kurabito, which is uh, uh, the one who working in a Sakagura. And uh, uh, this hotel, if you can see, this is the Kurabito Stay, the hotel uh, website. And they, so if you go there, you can try to brew uh, a Japanese sake by yourself and you can feel how people and you can uh, find out about the technique but due to corona they cannot get uh, uh, enough customer so they had to close down the hotel for four months uh, government invent go to uh, travel coupon to the old Japanese people but that's also cancelled due to the serious situation now so they can they have no way to get the revenue and this serious situation is also tough for Sakagura as well and according to the article from gg.com uh, the revenue of uh, Sakagura is almost halved uh, which means uh, they cannot get enough profit I think they are in a loss now so if they continue to be in loss then uh, they can continue to brew sake so uh, this Kravito State Hotel and the 13 breweries organized an online sake event from January February two days uh, called Sake Sonic online 24th of January uh, and 2nd of February from uh, 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. in Japan time and they are going to do uh, sake festival with 13 brewery and the hotel Gravito Stay. So if you're interested, please join. Next topic. The next topic from Kiss Press, which deliver information about uh, uh, Hyogo Prefecture. Uh, there's one collaboration. I think this is preparing for the Valentine's Day, the chocolate. Uh, the one brewery in uh, Miki City in Hyogo Prefecture. Miki City is very famous for Yamada Nishiki and uh, the brewery called Inami Shuzo uh, is going to collaborate with uh, the patissier from Miki the, he's born in Miki City they are going to produce gato chocolate uh, the dessert, chocolate dessert cake with Japanese sake and uh, the, the sake going to use is uh, koshu Daiginjo koshu the sake gained International Wine Challenge 2020 uh, bronze medal in sake category as well, so must be very nice. So hope more people is going to enjoy sake with uh, this chocolate cake as an entry, like an introduction of Japanese sake. Shall we go to the third topic? Third topic is from government in uh, Kyodo. It says the president, new president. Mr. Suga has announced that uh, uh, Japan is going to promote Japanese sake to 
be a part of the UNESCO Intangible Culture uh, Heritage. So, uh, from the past years, they were trying to uh, promote Japanese sake the most to expand the market in the world. But and they aim to increase the brand of Japanese sake in the world. And uh, the schedule is in Japan in last year, the Miyadaiku, the, the carpenter for shrines, uh, registered as a, like a traditional architecture artisan, like technique, were uh, registered as a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage, but occasion is every two years. And next year, 2022, uh, Japanese government is going to uh, apply with the other uh, culture staff. So in 2024, which is the uh, next trial, uh, Japanese government is going to uh, apply for UNESCO uh, Intangible Cultural Heritage. I hope uh, that branch of uh, Japanese sake increase and also the recognition like uh, more people know about Japanese sake and more fun in the world. So this is uh, this week's topics. If you have any comments please drop them uh, on this video and also if you have anything to uh, ask me please do not hesitate to send me any questions or uh, like, uh, requests. So this is uh, 2021 third week so see you in the fourth week. Bye.